For the first time this season, it's the Capitals taking on the Chicago Steel right here inside of Bob Suter's Legacy 20 Arena Middleton. Welcome into the press box here at Cap Ice. My name is Drew Steele. I am the play-by-play -play voice of the Capitals. And coming up in What's on Tap, we'll have the Play It Again Sports of the Weekend preview tonight's matchup. And it's all leading up to puck drop between the Capitals and Steel here this evening. 7.05 puck drop at Cap Ice. But before we get into tonight's matchup, let's take a look back at last week as the Capitals faced off against the Green Bay Gamblers. On the first of a two-game homestand, that concludes tonight. The Caps faced off against the Gamblers for the first time this season last Saturday night. Madison scored just 13 seconds into the game with Finn Brink picking up his third of the season. Green Bay would answer before the end of the period, though, to make it 1-1 at intermission number one. Diego Johnson was able to regain the lead for Madison in the second period at 2-1 for his second of the season. But once again, the Gamblers had answers for everything to make things 2-2 heading into the second intermission. In the third, Madison went on the power play and a beautiful play off the draw resulted in the Capitals scoring. It was Diego Johnson on the rebound to score his second of the night to put the Capitals ahead. This time, the Caps would not let Green Bay tie it up. Finn Brink and John Stout would add empty netters to have the game end in a 5-2 victory. That puts Madison in a tie for second in the USHL with the steal as we take a look at our Eastern Conference standings. Dubuque sits in first two clear of the tie for second place. The difference between first and last though in the East, just four points. So it's a tight race early on in the year. Heading into tonight's matchup, let's take a look at our players to watch. For the visiting Steel, we focus on one of their two tendered players this season, Adam Valentini. Valentini registered two points in his first game at the Fall Classic, but only has two points since. And on the other side for the Caps, we focus on Diego Johnson. Diego enters play this weekend, tied with Riker Lee for the team lead in points on the year. Johnson has had back-to-back -back games with multiple points, and now we turn the page over to our projected goaltending matchup. For Chicago, they've split time evenly so far this season between Luca Cloutier and Jack Parsons, and Parsons is next up in that rotation, has had the better numbers between the two this season. He enters with a top 10 goals against average and save percentage in the USHL this season. On the other side, it's A.J. White. He's had good numbers this season, but just hasn't gotten a ton of goal support. In three starts, White is 0-2-1-0 with nine goals allowed, but Madison only scoring five in those games. Before we go, let's take a look back at our Play It Again Sports goal of the weekend. This goal scored by Diego Johnson. What a goal by Diego on that one, and what a night we're about to have here in Middleton. Dollar Beer Night presented by Coors Light. Beer just a dollar near sections 101 and 105. Be loud, be in your chairs early, and one last thing before we go, go Caps, go.